Hi, today we're going to work on lesson 6-3 in the math book. Starts on page 365. And this time we're going to be looking at these graphs and getting some information from the graphs. So looking on page 365, the box at the top tells us 12 students were asked, which vegetable do you like most at lunch, corn or peas? This list shows their answers. Complete the tally chart and picture graph to show the data. What do these data tell you about what students like? So now, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to go one by one and put a mark for every answer they got. So corn, then peas, peas, corn, peas, corn, corn, and now I have another corn, and that's going to be five. So I can go ahead and do my tally mark. Then two more peas, one, oh, another tally mark, another diagonal, and then two corns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven corns, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five peas. All right, now we're going to draw our favorite. So I'm going to send you a little oval for the corn, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little bit longer so you see that was just to show you what it was going to look like. The peas, I'm just going to draw a little circle. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so then what are some questions that we can answer? We can say which one was the favorite. Well, corn's bar goes a little bit farther. I think I messed that up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I left off a corn. Seven. There we go. Now, seven corns. So the corn is, is the favorite. We still have quite a few people who like peas. We can say, how many more people like corn? Well, here's the end of the peas. And if we look up there, there's two more people that voted for corn. So there's a couple things that we could get from this graph, a couple things we can learn just by looking at that. Let's turn to page 366 and look at the top. The picture graph shows how many students like milk, water, or juice with lunch. What does the graph tell you about what students like to drink at lunch? Just looking at it, you can tell which one is the favorite. Which one has the biggest bar? Whoa, the milk. Which one was not very well liked? The water, it only got one vote. And the juice is kind of in the middle. So I can count and compare what drinks student, students like. So I can say one, two, three, four, five, six people like milk. One likes water and three like juice. So I can get the actual number from the graph. So the graph tells me that students like milk better than juice or water with lunch. So use the picture graph above to answer the questions. How many more students like milk than juice? So we're looking at these two. I'm going to go to the end of the smallest one, which is juice, and I'm going to come up. And how many extra milks were there? One, two, three. So three more people liked milk than juice. How many fewer liked water than milk? So now we're going to look between water and milk. I come here. How many extras are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five fewer people chose water, right? Because six of them had milk, only one had water. How many more students like juice than water? So now we're just looking at these two, cover up the one that's the same. There were two extras, two more students. All right, so now we're going to use this, uh, the data in the tally graph, or in the tally chart, to make a picture graph. So go ahead and turn off the video. Go ahead and do numbers four, five, six, and seven, and then you can turn it back on and we will check your answers. All right, number four says use the data to make a picture graph. So red, I have one, two, three, four red. Blue, I have five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the blue, and purple I have five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just by making the graph, I can already tell which one was the most popular. Number five, how many more students like purple than red? So I'm going to go to red, I go to the end of it, and I cover that up. And how many extras are left in the purple? One, two, three, four. So four more people liked purple than red. Which color is the favorite? Well, that one, all you have to do is glance at it and say, which one has the longest bar? We purple, all the way to the end. So purple was the favorite. Number seven says, use this equation to determine how many fewer students like blue than purple. So seven people like blue, eight people liked purple. So what they're saying is, what would we add to the smaller number to get the bigger number eight? So if we start at seven and count up, seven, eight, one. So one fewer person liked blue. So they were pretty close. All right, number eight says, write and answer a question about the data in the picture graph. Again, go ahead and do that and ask an adult to check it for you, and maybe you can explain how you would find the answer. On page 368, it says, look at the tally chart. How many friends have dogs for pets? So we find the dogs. Here we have five, six. How many friends have fish for pets? Here's the fish. One, two. Number 10, look at the picture graph. How many more friends have dogs than fish? So here's the fish. We're going to come to the top of the fish and cover that up. How many extra dogs are there? One, two, three, four. So there were four more dogs than fish. How many fewer friends have cats than dogs? So this time we're going to look at these two. Come to the top of the cats, cover that up. How many more dogs are there? One, two, three. So it says, think about the meaning of more and fewer. So we're looking to see what is that difference? What are the extras in there? Number 11, look at the tally chart in item nine. How many friends have pets? Well, let's count them up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there were 11, it says write an equation to show your work. Here we have six plus the three cats plus the two fish. And when we added them all together, equals 11. Number 12, which question cannot be answered by looking at the graph in item 10? So which one can we not find an answer for? How many friends have cats? Can I find out? Yep, one, two, three. That one I can answer, so I'm not going to mark that. How many friends have hamsters? Does it ask about hamsters? No, so that one cannot be answered. How many fewer friends have fish than dogs? Can we figure out what the difference is? Sure, we can go to the top of the fish and see how many more dogs there were. How many more friends have dogs than cats? Can we figure that out? Yep, go to the top of the line of cats. How many extra dogs are there? So the only one we can't tell is about the hamsters because they never asked about hamsters. All right, it is now time for you to do the homework and practice page 369 and 370. When you're done, turn the video back on and we will check your answers. All right, so it started with just another look, a review of stickers. So they decided to go from our tally chart to a picture graph, two moons, five, six, seven flowers, so they drew the flowers, and five, six stars, so they drew in six stars. All right, number one says, which sticker is the least favorite? Least means smallest. So looking over here, which one has the smallest bar? The moon. Number two, write the stickers in order from favorite to least favorite. So we're going to go from the highest bar that got the most votes down to the smallest. So which one's the highest? The flower. Then after that, what's the next highest? The star. And the least favorite is the smallest, 
the moon. How many more students like the star than the moon? So we're going to look at this one and this one. We're going to go up as high as the moon goes and cover those up. How many more stars are there? One, two, three, four. So four more students voted for the star than the moon. If we look on page 370, our picture graph says what we like to do on a trip. Swim, hike, or bike. How many fewer people like to ride a bike than swim? All right, so how many like to ride a bike? One, two, three. Now that's the smaller number, so I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to do a takeaway and put the smaller number here. And then swim, one, two, three, four, that's going to be my biggest number. So if I take the four and I cross out the three, if I cover up those three, how many's left? One. How many more people like to swim than hike? Show how you add it or subtract it. So here I have swim, four, minus the two that hiked, one, two. Now if I look, cover up those two. Four take away two is two. Use the picture graph above to make a tally chart. Show the tally mark. So this time we're going backwards. We're doing the graph to the tally mark. So here we have one, two, three, four. Now this one doesn't count because it's just part of the word. It's just showing us what this word is. Here we have hike, one, two, one, two. Bike, one, two, three. Number seven, which question cannot be answered by looking at the picture graph from items four and five? So up here. How many more people like to swim than ride a bike? Can we tell how many more like to swim than bike? Yep, we could do that. How many people like to dance? Does it ask about dancing? No, so that one we cannot answer. How many fewer people like to hike than ride a bike? Hike and bike, yes, we can tell the difference. How many people voted? Yes, we can tell this because we can count up all of the votes and that will tell us how many people voted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the only one we can't tell anything about is the dancing because they never asked anybody. All right, have a great afternoon. Take a picture and send it to your teacher.